It's the Pappy Show and the Scrappy Show. The more friends come out, the more we're gonna know. It's the Pappy Show and the Scrappy Show. Never seen someone back so much before. It's the Pappy Show and the Scrappy Show. The more friends come out, the more we're gonna know. It's the Pappy Show and the Scrappy Show. Never seen someone back so much before. It's the Pappy Show and the Scrappy Show. The more friends come out, the more we're gonna know. It's the Pappy Show and the Scrappy Show. Never seen someone back so much before. It's the Pappy Show. And we'll scrap each show. The more friends come out, the more we're gonna know. It's the Pappy Show and the Scrappy Show. Never seen someone back so much before. It's the Pappy Show and the Scrappy Show. The more friends come out, the more we're gonna know. It's the Pappy Show and the Scrappy Show. Never seen someone back so much before. It's the Pappy Show and the Scrappy Show. The more friends come out, the more we're gonna know. It's the Pappy Show and the Scrappy Show. Never seen someone back so much before it's the happy show and the scrappy show the more friends come out the more we're gonna know it's the happy show and the scrappy show never seen someone what's up everybody it's the happy show and the scrappy show more never seen someone back so much before y'all it's been so long that i've been on here i don't even know the words to my own damn theme song <laughs> what's up everybody coach nandy here in my water why is it only 22 likes of you y'all been in here listening to that song doing absolutely nothing waiting for me to come on Hit the hearts, the like, the smiley face, the huggy emoji, the laughy emoji. Hit all the feels. Come on, y'all. Hit all the feels. All right. What's up, everybody? Welcome to another edition of Nandy After Dark. I am your host, your coach, your girl. Oh, yes, bitch. Coach Nandy. Yes. Let me get a round of applause. Go ahead. Give it up for me. You know you want to. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Night crew. My beloved night crew, you guys have a very special place in my heart. Um, hi, Miss Mitty. Hi, Cynthia. Hi, Barbara. Miss Booker. Claudia Jewel. Hi. Hi, um, Trayball Clowney. Shante Hall. Shirley Troop. Uh, Miss Ward. Hello. Hi, Kenya. Kenya. Donna. Uh, Khadija Ali. Uh, it's not my birthday. I don't know why. I, I hurried up and deleted that comment. I should have locked the person who put it because it's not my birthday. I don't know why people come on here trying to stir up. Um, you know what I'm saying? It, it just, I don't know why people do what they do. Um, this is not my birthday. <laughs> Believe me, I would have told y'all to put my damn cash app up today if it was my birthday today. I'm just that kind of chick. Uh, hi, Miss Lott. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you, darling? Jacqueline Smith, Phyllis. Let me take your, your comment down too, Khadija, because that's why I took the person's comment down. As soon as I didn't block them, I should have. But as soon as I saw the comment, because I'm like, why would they say something like that? Like, it does nothing but cause confusion. Um, hi, Sonia. Hi, Miss Wilson. Uh, Miss Nelson, Betty Jean Webb. Hi. You guys, make sure you hit the like, the heart, the smiley face, the share, 
the um, huggy emoji, the smiley emoji, the share button. Hit all the feels. Um, Tara Lady Red Wilson. Sawanda Thomas. Hi. Hi, Leslie. Miss Turpin. Hi, darling. Hi, Ling Ling. Uh, Miss Cross. Hi. Hi, Miss Booker. Hit the like, share, follow button, please. Thank you for that. Miss Shanti Hall. Listen, I can't get to everybody, but please know as the show progresses and you make comments, I will definitely acknowledge you. Uh, hi, Miss Clark, Miss Clayton. How are you, darling? Val Wilson, what's up? All right, guys, listen. I haven't been online in quite a few days. I've been very, very busy. Okay. I shared with you guys um, that. I am doing the last of my reviews for this quarter. We're in the third quarter right now, going into the fourth quarter. Um, even though some low-life, no-neck bitch with the last name of Milton had nerve to have her fucked-up-ass teeth, mouth and teeth on me, okay, about I don't have a job. She ain't got no job. She ain't work. Baby, just because you don't have your post office job anymore that you fucked up and tried to take them to court and got it dismissed. Oh, we're going to get all into your business, I.E. You and that drunk you got with you, okay? Worry about them AA meetings for that little boy you got that you're laying up with, okay? Worry about that, all right? I don't be fucking with you hoes. But when y'all got your mouth on me, I'm going to come back at you now, all right? Yeah, Lena Milton. She goes by Crespo because she got married to that lady. Um, but she's a Milton. And that's how y'all can go find out all her dirt. It's all under Milton, not Crespo, in case y'all were looking. Uh, including when she tried to sue her former employee, but didn't win, bitch. The post office. The USPS. Ah! And shit got dismissed. <laughs> You filthy bitch. Keep your mouth off of me if you know what's good for you, okay? Because I drag your ass into court too, bitch. All right? So keep your mouth off me. You can't even read or write properly. All your posts have spelling errors, typos, et cetera, et cetera. But you sit up there and put that dusty ass wig on every time you go live, okay? And um, go take some insulin, something. Do something with your, do something productive with your fucking life, all right? Well, I haven't even been online in a week. I haven't been talking about Tate or Carmen in a week, okay? However many days it's been. It's been a lot of days. I haven't even had my mouth on them. But she's trying to get to 10,000. And the fact that you're not at 10,000 yet, and you got a bitch who got half a million followers uh, uh, saying your name day in, day out, lets you know nobody's fucking with you like that, Miss Piggy, Okay? <laughs> We're gonna get into that. Let me let me let me get let's get into some housekeeping first. Cause I've been going a few days. And these hoes been getting out of line. But bitch, I'm back to collect my money like a pimp, bitch. <laughs> bitch better have my money. Not half. Not some. Say it with me if y'all know super flies. But all my cash. Or oh, I'm gonna put my foot dead in her ass. Now that's what super fly said, and I agree with him. All right, you guys. Um, let me scroll down a little bit. I mean, I've been offline. I ain't been fucking with anybody. I've been handling business, okay? And all I hear y'all just be sending me all of these messages and blurbs and screenshots of some bitch talking about me and my RICO charges, and I'm a lifelong criminal bitch. You whoosh. You motherfucking whoosh, bitch. First of all, uh, an accusation is an accusation. I don't have any motherfucking convictions on my records and I've never been charged for anything ever in my motherfucking life. Okay. So you can keep on running on with the Rico. Oh, everybody knows that. Who gives a fuck? Everybody knows it. I talks about it. It's in a song I made called Jasmine Rice. You worry about my Rico. Oh yes, bitch. <laughs> bitch, this is old. Okay. And I'm here to tell you, bitch, that you don't have any room to be talking about anybody. Okay? Go get your motherfucking Dexcom, bitch. And, um, but we're going to get into you a little bit more. A little bit. Um, let me did see right quick. Let me go ahead and put, put, put my disclaimer up. 
Okay, I don't need to say the disclaimer because everything I say, whether I say the disclaimer or not, all of my shows, let me put my picture up here. Hold on. Oh, 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 oh. All of my shows are based off of a disclaimer. Okay. They're built on the foundation of a disclaimer. All right. I don't know any of these ladies. Um, I don't know any of them. And they don't know me. But they show sure enough to make you think they know me. They know my destiny. They know my future. They got a hell and a jail to put me. Oh, they will convince you of all the above. But they don't know of it, Jess. Dang. Just like I don't know them. Okay? So everything I say. Hi, um, Patricia. Get your girl. Don't start tonight. Uh-uh. Fuck that. Fuck these hoes. Fuck that. I don't like nobody playing on my phone. These hoes been playing on my phone. And I ain't even been. Like, I haven't even been online. You think they would enjoy the little break? You know what I'm saying? Like, what the? F anyway, everything's alleged, allegedly. I don't know these people. They don't know me. Bah, 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 bah. All right. It's all alleged, allegedly allegations. Also, not we're not discriminatory on this page. Um, so you know, I don't care what your sexual orientation is, preferences, identity is. I don't care if you're black, white. Come on, say it with me. Puerto Ricano, Mexicano, Dominicano, Colombiano. I don't give a damn. I like everybody. I love everyone. I don't care what your skin color is. I don't care how much money you have. I don't care how smart or not you are. You could you be somebody drunk on the corner, not smart, never went to school a day in your life, not even elementary school. I still could learn something from you, even if it's how not to fucking be. Okay? I love everyone. Everyone has some type of value that they bring to this world. Everyone, everyone, don't let anyone tell you any different. And I value the value in people. All right. So, yeah, yeah, I hear that. That's called the black girl pop. Y'all know how to do the black girl pop? Mm -hmm. This is a rite of passage. It's a rite of passage to know how to do that. Um, listen. So we don't discriminate over here. So if you hear me talking about someone being a dyke, a stud, a, 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 a pussy, blah, 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 I ain't just talking about them, all right? I, I, I fucked with the LGBTQIA plus community, okay? I rocks with y'all. Um, and then finally, hold harmless. That's it. I'm going to get into that right now, okay? Let me go on and take this dusty ass ankle down. Let me take this down. Now, I haven't been on here fucking with anyone. Y'all know this, all right? I've been minding my business, working my multiple jobs, okay? Managing my streams of income, working on different things. I don't need to tell you every motherfucking thing. I built this platform to talk about people, not talk about myself. And that's what people don't understand, okay? Let's first get into this Lena bitch, all right? Let's get into her. Because um, I have not been, I take my fault. They knocks on Dan. They knocked on Andy door. She just answering wrong door. Listen, I don't, okay. So Carmen, Carmen has this coach. Okay, she calls herself a coach, and um, she's not like some certified, certifiable, bona fide, legitimate therapist coach. You know what I'm saying? She's some broad who fucked up and lost a post office job and tried to sue them. And the judge was like, eh, eh, bitch, nope. <laughs> and um, so she was like, well, fuck it. Um, I think I could tell people um, about uh, these so-called affirmations that I've been reading online. I can regurgitate them to them and call myself a therapist. So let me go ahead and just start a so-called business and say that I'm a life coach. Bitch, you're not. You're a life roach, all right? You ain't even a gutter roach. You're a life roach. I have not been fucking with you, okay? And I know a few things about your little dusty ass, Miss Milton, okay? Quite a few things, bitch, about you and your family. And I ain't never said anything, not really, because my focus is not you, okay? But you got the nerve to have them click suckers on me. <laughs> Baby, this is not what you want, okay? This ain't what you want. I know you're trying to get to 10,000 so you can make some money like me. I understand that. I, I, you know, I get it. But bitch, you're going to have to get to that 10,000 another way. 
unless you want me to drag your ass every day and day out because I'm not going to stop dragging Carmen. I'm not going to stop. I'm, I don't want to say dragging Carmen. I'm not going to stop discussing them. Okay. But bitch, I will drag you daily. I'll add your ass to the menu, bitch. Okay. I will let these groups and, and the people in my group finger fuck you and your business, all your business, all of it. All right. Um, oh, I got, I, I, I can really, 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 really go in on your wig wearing nail Carter lights, net the light skin nail Carter looking ass bitch. I don't even fuck with you at all. You're not even on my level, bitch. You can't even spell. All right. You don't even know the difference between worst and worse. Exhibit A. Look at this post from this bitch. The hate. No professional would write like that. I understand people use urban slang and we use, you know, people write like that. You know, I, I know I use Ebonics and slang from time to time. But in my post, the hate is getting worse with a T. Worse. Here's why. You mean worse? The hate is getting worse? W-O-R-S-E? I'm tired of taking you hoes to school, okay? Uh, bitch, leave me out of your commentary, Miss Milton, all right? Because I will definitely sit on this page and unload the shit that I know about you on this page, too. Whatever it may be. I don't give a fuck if people heard it already. It bears repeating. It hasn't been heard in a long time. And some of it they don't know, okay? The intimate details of your USPS, uh, United States Postal Service, claim. Yeah, I know she worked it for years. Um, then she fucked up and then she tried and then she tried to sue them. And it was like, the judge was like, nah, get your ass out there to the welfare line, bitch. So I, I hadn't been messing with this lady and even her client. And she's such a contradiction. She always, about, I, I, I don't, and I don't, and I, I'm not part of, I don't hate anybody. I don't be saying hateful things. I, I carry a positive light. I don't get in the mess. Oh, bitch, you a lie. You definitely a lie. You so fucked up and so messy and such an embarrassment to um, the field that you want to be so desperately in that someone that you had a conversation with, another therapist, reached out to me. I don't know that knew nothing about this lady. Let me pull up the message. But you got the right one, baby. Uh-huh. Uh, let me see. Hold on. Let me see if I can get to it. <clears throat> Cause I wasn't even fucking with your ass, bitch, at all. And if you think by me talking about you is going to deter me or distract me from continuing putting the spotlight on and talking about whomever the fuck I want to, Carmen and Tay, in this case, you're crazy. Cause I, I yeah, she ain't got no. This, this is what she's saying about me. She ain't got no job. She ain't working nowhere. She ain't selling all them bags that she said she was selling. How do you know what I'm doing, bitch? I think that you don't have any clients. I think the only clients you have are Carmen and Tay. That's it. Who else will hire you? With the messiness, the unprofessionalism, the I mean, the way you, every post you have is full of errors. Every single one. I mean, one or two once in a blue moon, but every single post, you'll walk in contradiction. All right. Um, you need to be worried about getting your diabetes under control. That's what you need to be worried about. Get your motherfucking blood sugar. Yo, get your blood sugar under 115. Get, can you do that? Huh? Can you get your blood sugar under 115? Stop worrying about me, bitch. You have no idea. Why would I tell you? Uh, she ain't selling all them bags like she says. Y'all want me to be broke so bad, but baby, I ain't never been broke a day in my life. Ever. Okay? <laughs> Ever and that shit ain't gonna never happen. You know why? Because you're not the author of my life, bitch. You and none of the hoes that you represent, work with, talk to, run with any of that. None of you hoes are the author of my life. You can't control and you can whoosh all you want. All the you can like as you do, you can sit up there and lie and say, You, you, you're you know what I'm saying? Oh, I'm loving life. I'm this, I don't get in driving in the drama and the mess. I would never, yeah, this bitch. I would never get online and talk about people. You bitch, you, that's all you do. You told someone a couple of months ago, yeah, get to talk about her bags. I'm going to sit back with a glass of wine so I can laugh. 
Lena, you are a walking contradiction. You look like you on the fucking spectrum too, bitch. You went, oh, I ain't even gonna get, you know what? I'm gonna leave the kids out of this. I'm not gonna talk about your grandbaby because he's innocent. Unfortunately, he got you for a grandmammy, but I'm not even gonna talk about him. I'm not gonna do that because that would be dirty. I'm not dirty, okay? And, and I don't come for people who don't come for me. I don't. Until and unless you come for me. Um, hi, son, doggy. She's a major joke and a clown, too. That's all she is. That bitch trying to get to 10,000, like her life depend on it. And it do. Okay? And it do. Bitch, that house you sitting up in, your mammy might not live in it, but it's in her name. Miss Milton, don't fucking play with me, bitch. Don't you have in your motherfucking dingy ass life. I, especially when I wasn't even fucking with you. Okay? <laughs> you just wanted me to say her name. Y'all notice I haven't said her name. I done blotted out all her fucking information on this, even on the thing that's on the screen right now, because you won't get any motherfucking um, recommendations, any mention, honorable mention, honorable, honorable mentions, honorable mentions from me, bitch. You're not going to get anything from me. All right. Uh, I would never say I call you a life roach. Oh, yes. And I call you by your maiden name, Milton. Oh, yes. You're crestable now. But y'all go, y'all go Google and do all the research and blah blah blah. Finger fucking under Milton. That's what y'all do. Oh, she don't want you to know. Fuck her. She ain't got this bitch. She ain't shit. Where about that bitch you laid up with? Yeah, I called her a bitch. How it feel for somebody to talk shit about somebody you love or about you or whatever, and they don't even know what maybe maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. But you definitely don't know what you're talking about when you talking about me and my motherfucking jobs, businesses income, whatever it may be. You have no clue. But you open this in with your chest. She ain't got no job. She ain't working. Them bags ain't selling. Why would I tell y'all what deals I'm working out with which companies or which organizations I'm dealing with or groups, travel groups? Why would I tell you? So you can go in and try to fuck it up because that you the, you a dirty bitch, Miss Milton. You exactly the kind of bitch who would go behind somebody to try to fuck up a deal. Why would I tell a dizzy, dumb bitch like you any of my business. You worried about when I'm going to Costco next. That's how much you want my clit. When she going to Costco, she ain't been on a Costco run. Fuck you, bitch. You can suck my dirty tampon. How about that? Yes, I said it. And she fucking deserves it. A hundred percent. You sit up there, you and the other minions stalk me, wait for me to go to Costco so you can follow me and stalk me and do what? Try to kill me? Because that's what your motherfucking leader said she was going to do to me. Like, fuck you and the rest of y'all. All of you motherfuckers. Okay? Fuck yeah. Uh, you need to be worried about that one who you laid up with going to AA. Keep up them AA meetings. Because baby, it look like she's losing the battle. Fuck wrong with you. All right. Let's get off of here. Because I wasn't even fucking with your ugly ass. At all. I wasn't saying anything about you. But you went on an hour long rant about me. Talking all kind of shit about me. I wasn't even fucking with your wig wearing ass. Bitch, show your real hair. Show me your numbers from yesterday. Show me your blood glucose numbers, bitch. Are you up in the fives? I bet you are, bitch. I bet that blood sugar. Show me your blood sugar numbers for the next week. Uh -huh. You ain't gonna do that. You worried about me. Fuck you worried about me. She ain't got no job. Bitch like me, you're right. I don't have a job. I have a career. Bitch like me always going to be working. <laughs> I mean, obviously. But the fact that she tried to convince people of that shit and she ain't selling them bags like she said. She ain't doing this. She ain't do the only person not doing anything is you, bitch. Yeah. Okay? Not me. I, I hate that you lost that case to the USPS. But baby, I'm going to talk about that next week. I'm going to lay that. Or I'm going to walk everybody through it from soup to nuts, bitch. Since you want to talk, open your mouth. I wasn't even fucking with you in that thing you laid up with at all. Wife, husband, whatever you want to call it. All right, I'll go pull her. I, I, Girl, I would go and pull her AA motherfucking meeting. Her sponsor on this phone call. I mean, girl, don't play with me. Uh-uh. Especially when I ain't did shit to your ass. Yeah. I wasn't even fucking with your clients for the last week. I've been minding my business. I've been busy. I haven't even been online. She ain't got no job. And she be on here all day, every day. You a bitch ass lie. I don't even be on here. I haven't been on here in almost a week. 
And my show is an after dark show. So I don't be on here every day in the daytime. I might come on once in a blue moon, uh, a blue moon. I may have a daylight edition. But other than that, I don't be on this bitch four times a day in the daytime. And then again in the afternoon, twice in the evening. No, I might come on once a day in the motherfucking evening. Sometimes I don't go on for weeks. It doesn't matter. If I came on this bitch every day, in the morning, afternoon, and evening, you don't know what the fuck I got going on. You just running them clit lickers because that's all you can do to try to get to 10,000. But even when you get to 10,000, bitch, your video's only pulling in about 50 views per video, whatever the fuck it is. Unless you're talking about me, then that shit skyrocket. That's something totally different. So... Bitch, your number's going to skyrocket next week because once you respond to me, which I'm sure you will, uh, I'm going to walk through your motherfucking court case. I'm going to show y'all how to really do it, how to finger fuck a court case document. That one and all them other ones you got out there. Okay? But especially that one, Miss Milton. Fuck wrong with you. All right. <clears throat> Let's see. Someone please call my job and tell them I'm on the floor. I can't get up. Um, what does it matter if you want all day and every day? It doesn't matter what she's trying. What Lena is trying to do, um, is paint a certain picture of me. She has told people that I don't work, which is how would you know something like that? I wouldn't, I wouldn't just say something like that unless I absolutely knew. Now your girlfriend, wife, whatever the fuck it is, um, who goes to it, it, you know, to the AA meetings. I don't know. She looks like she belongs in them, but I don't know that she is. But since we talking reckless, Okay, I normally wouldn't say something like that unless I knew it. But since you're talking reckless about my my employment status and my back business status and other things that you have absolutely no factual information on, you just running them nasty diabetic filled dick click lickers, just talking out your ass. So since we're doing that, let's go ahead and let's get into it then. Okay. Um, yeah. Go, go put some motherfucking activator on that wig, bitch. Because, yeah, it's giving Nell Carter. Give me a break. Give me a break because I sure need one. I finally found where I belong. Yeah, bitch, give me a break. Yeah, I remember the song. Oh, I just dated myself just now. Mm, mm, mm. Listen, y'all. I don't even be getting on here wilding out on people like this. I really don't. But Lena has been saying things for the last, it's been a couple of months, and I've just been letting it go, and you know, but you know, it's getting to the point where I got to address it, you know, I had to address it, and um, just let yourself, yeah, coming to America, bitch, put some activator on that shit, and um. Uh, Stop making up shit about me. You have no idea. I don't give a fuck if I had five million charges. I don't have one conviction on my motherfucking record, bitch. Unless and until I do, you don't even know what the fuck you're talking about. Per usual. You want to convince people, oh, she's going, she's going down forever and ever for life. Oh, she ain't got no job. She don't work. Oh, them 300 record charges. You don't know shit. You just talking just to be talking out your ass. That's it. You don't know anything. The intelligent thing to do is to just wait and see how things unfold. Anybody, I could right now I could go down to the courthouse and file charges against you, Lena, for having dry hair and um, you know, and that that upsets me terribly. Okay. And that's the charge. That's the accusation. And you could be, I could charge, I could charge you with upsetting me for that. Okay, and it will be a charge until we went to court and we hashed it out. All right, somebody let this bitch know because we're going through your shit next week, Miss Milton. We definitely gonna do that. Okay. Um, you have been turning the other cheek a hundred percent, hundred percent. A lot of shit out here be said about me, and I be like, okay, okay, girl, and I just keep it pushing. But she kept it, kept it, kept. And this is clearly what she wanted me to do. Except she wanted me to show her page name, you know, because her master, you know what I'm saying? Her owner got um, half a million followers. Her leader got half a million followers. Charge her for elephant ankles. <laughs> hey, Joe. Um, her, her, um, her liar in chief has a half a million followers. 
Bitch, you should have at least a hundred thousand. Twenty thousand, you can't even get to the monet, you know, to um the standards of monetization, which will be at least ten thousand. I mean, one of the other minions barely just got it after all this time. Y'all should be y'all should be up to a hundred thousand. You should be way past me. So if you do pass me, whenever that does happen, if it happens, that's how it should be because you got somebody who has half a million followers advocating for you day and night. You should be well up into the hundred thousands, the way that Carmen be begging people to follow y'all. Don't nobody want to fuck with you, girl. Bah. <laughs> what clients? Oh, uh, Hawaiian silky. Oh, that used to be my perm, uh, Geechee girl. I haven't had a perm in my hair though. Somebody asked me the other day. Uh, somebody was called about their bag order. We got to talking. And she was like, Nancy, I didn't know you got you had got a perm. I said a perm, baby. I haven't had a perm in my hair in about 25 years. Easily. <laughs> so, but when I did get perms, I used to love the Hawaiian silkies. Okay, let me take this roach down off my screen. Look at her. She looks like she's on the spectrum. Let me take her down. She's pitiful. Um, okay. <clears throat> so, y'all. I want to tell y'all something before we start getting into some Carmen stuff, all right? And um, let me see that one. Okay. So, y'all, I've been busy. I've been busy the last couple of days. I'll leave you there. I've been busy the last couple of days. And I am here to tell you that I've been making a lot of progress in a lot of different areas, Okay. And um, listen, Carmen, y'all get ready for this. This is going to be upsetting to some of y'all. I, I know it is. Yes. Y'all can see that. Lena Milton versus USPS. Listen, y'all. Carmen, y'all remember when Carmen was. Now, I haven't been going in on Carmen like that. In the last at least week or so. Yes, I've been busy, but there's always time that a person, it's 24 hours in a day. There's always time, and this is an overnight show, okay? There's always time that I could hop on and, you know what I'm saying, and talk about them or say something about them, but I haven't been doing that. Obviously, I've been either in our private group and even in there, I haven't been talking about them. Um, you know, I've just been chilling, not for any reason, just, just because, okay. But Carmen went to um the police she went to the court actually let me get it right she went to cobb county court back last month on august 2nd okay and remember when she was in the video like i remember marietta we're sharp marietta do what she was doing in marietta and i will nail to the cross in court her whole motherfucking so-called team because they're the ones who encourage her to do this. She said she get all her advice from, especially Lena. That's what she said. And I talked to a judge. Oh, yes, I did. What's today? For, on Friday. I, I went to the court and I talked to a judge. We discussed some things directly to a judge. Yes, I did. Okay. Let me tell you something. Carmen, this is what I found out. And then I had to do an action of my own. Carmen went to Marietta courthouse and this is what she told them this is this is carmen was trying she tried to get y'all already you know she went to the hilton where i was and she harassed them she caused a big stink um when she went online she they didn't even tell me about it when she went live she said that she went down then she was at the hilton so i called them they didn't even call me and tell me i called them like hey it's miss williams um they was like oh here we go I said, what? I said, I heard that the person I was having problems with online, she said that she was down there and um, she was trying to get information. But what was she down there for? And that's when um, I talked to their senior leadership team and they were very upset. They said she was down there making a big deal, a big stink. Um, there are other guests they were concerned for. Carmen, this goes when you show your ass like that and you are in places where you don't, you're not supposed to be, that's going to get you in trouble, not the person that you're trying to get in trouble, okay? So she was all down there harassing those people, causing a the big stink in their lobby and all this other stuff, right? 
that didn't work. They wouldn't give her my forwarding address. She begged them for it, threatened them for it. I'm a call corporate. Y'all doing this to me. All kind of shit. Okay, I told you about that. Okay, okay, okay. So that didn't work. So then she goes to the courthouse, and this is this is what she says. When they ask her, she tried, she tried to take out a warrant for my arrest, is what she tried, what she's trying to do. Okay. She's trying to get me arrested to shut me up so I don't talk about her tacky ass clothes online. So that she can't, so that she can continue to put the camera in the face of homeless people and exploit them for money. But she hasn't been doing that lately, which is why I've been easing up on her quite a bit. I mean, she tried to do a little something in Chick Fil A the other day. It's filet, but I call it Fila. She tried to do a little something in Fila the other day, but she was like, abort, abort, abort. So she didn't go through with that. But you know, so they have. She's been behaving. So if you notice, I've been easing back. But karma is the type of person you can't ease back on. And it's not even really Carmen. If you think, if I, as you know, I had thought about this before. I told you guys, it's not even really Carmen. It's the people she has around her, her so-called team. Um, this is what Carmen went to the courthouse and said. She lied to a judge, okay? Because you have to go before a judge to get a um a, a warrant for someone's arrest. She lied to a judge, and we talked about this on Friday at length. Then what she said. These are words verbatim. I'm reading them. She me. This is this is what she said. To, to, she had to have something to try to get the warrant out for my arrest. So she, these are lies she told to get them to try to arrest me. She, me, stalks, stalks, bullies, harasses me daily. She sent, she sends people to my workplace. She crossed out. So she sends people to my workplace. She publicly threatens us. She's put our address, phone number, and social security on number online, an SSN number online. She said, this is what I did. I put their social security number online. <laughs> I'm in fear for my life, my wife's life also. She threatens our family and friends. Y'all, this is what she said. These are her words verbatim okay this is what carmen said to a judge in a court of law they make you put your hand up and swear this is a felony this is going to get her arrested because you can't prove one of these things on here but i can prove everything about you i can prove that you actually went down there to that hilton oh they anxious to give their testimony bitch i can prove that i can absolutely prove that you and your team put my social security card and my um address and my driver's license online oh you deleted it but i still have the screenshots and the videos i mean i have tons of them people were sending flooding my inbox with them so i still have them um you went to the da's office and i have that and recorded him the district attorney without his permission in a uh, uh um federal building without his consent acting like y'all were buddies and make trying to make it seem like he was doing you a favor and pressuring him to give you my address and pressuring him to revoke my bond and he told you no we're not going to do that because she hasn't done anything wrong she hasn't broken any laws no okay i have that on uh, you you were in a federal building trying to get my address for what to come and see me to kill me I also have you on tape threatening to blow my edges back, blow my head off to kill me, that you coming to see me. I mean, the list goes on and on. I got plenty of evidence on you, bitch. Plenty. Okay? Plenty. But you can't prove none of that shit about me because it's not true. I would never send someone to go to your workplace and do what? Watch you? That's dumb. That doesn't even make sense. I've never sent anyone to your workplace, so that's a bitch-ass lie. I don't even know your... So how would I know your social security number? You're going to have to prove that you see that I put your social security number online because when you can't, they're going to lock your ass up. Or we talked about it because you can't just go down to the court lying, trying to get somebody locked up. You a dirty bitch, Carmen. And you know what? I don't even fully blame you. I know your life roach told you to do it. So I hope they bring that bitch up to the court, to the podium too. Cause you don't make a move. You said your team tells you what to do. Can y'all believe this shit? Let me read it again. <laughs> She stalked me. She's just what she said to, to try to force their hand to get them to arrest me, to shut me up so she can't steal from the homeless. Or I don't can't talk about her tacky outfits. This what she, these are her words. She stalks, bullies, and harasses me daily. 
She sends people to my workplace. She publicly threatens us. I have never in my life, in fact, I have advocated and told people, I've advocated for you and told people, don't go, don't, if you see Carmen outside, don't approach her. You know, I don't want wish any harm on her. I've said this probably countless times on my platform. So that's a fucking lie. All of it's a lie. She publicly threatens us. Okay. Well, you have to show the judge that. Otherwise, that's perjury. You going to jail. I hope they lock you up on the spot. She publicly threatens us. She's put our address, phone number, and social security number online. All fucking lies. Uh, I'm in fear for my life and my wife's life. She threatens our family and friends. These call me words. <laughs> these are words, baby. And um, these are the limps that Carmen and the people around her will go to just to try to get someone um, to stop talking. Or as she said, she was going to kill me, stop breathing. Okay. But I have all my receipts, baby. Every last one of them. And I didn't go in front of that judge and tell her one lie on Friday. Not one. I told her and showed her and showed her the video on the airplane and some of the other stuff in the DA video. Uh, are you trying to get my address? How you got a restraining order out against someone? But you trying to desperately to find out where they live. Hounding, going to where they used to live. Hounding and harassing the people at the hotel. Hounding and harassing the DA. Going, beat the pavement to go find the bomb place. Bitch, you're the stalk. That stalk. Even the, even the uh, 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 detective was like, yeah, that, that sounds like she's stalking you. I mean, people are not dumb. And when you start going to a court of law and you start making this shit up, they are going to, you can't just be lying like that. And they're just going to be like, okay, well, you said, no, they're going to hold you accountable for your fucking lies that you swore because they make you swear before you, before you write this shit down. Yep. What exactly is her workplace? I have no idea. Um, Crook is a pathetic human being, 100%. Her minions put her up to this foolishness. 100%. This is not some shit that I, I kind of feel bad for Karma because this is not some shit that she would do. You know, left to her own devices. Um, When does all this go in front of a judge? On Monday. Well, this, this goes in front of a judge on Monday. And I got a little surprise for her ass. So hopefully you do show up on Monday because, like I said, I went there on Friday and I talked to the judge. And they know what's up, okay? So you better make sure. I, I put your social security number online. You a lying ass bitch. Your telephone number, bitch, I don't even know your motherfucker. Like all them lies that you said, I had people stalking you, showing up at your job. I threatened you. You're going to have to prove that without a doubt. You're going to have to show me saying it out my mouth, okay? Um, And when you can't clink, clink on your ass because now you done committed perjury and you you lied to try to manipulate the system to try to get someone locked up. And it didn't even have to come to all of this because you talk shit about me online. I'm okay with it. And I talk shit about you online and you should be okay with it. But when you start lying, trying to get me fucking arrested and you lying to a court of law right in the judge face to get them to sign off on a warrant, bitch, that's something totally different. <laughs> But where is she working? She don't have a job. Um, she, This is what the detective asked me to. One of them. Someone said she lives in Houston. Why is she always in Atlanta if she feels so threatened? I swear to God. This is literally what they asked me like two weeks ago. Um, you, you, you have fear for your life. But you post your location where you are every time you're somewhere. Because, you know, you, you're a show off. You want people to see what you're doing. Um, and, or you want people to come down there. So how are you in fear for your life? You, you, you should be working in your, the state that you're domiciled in. And that will be Texas. You're not domiciled here in Georgia, but you come here and start fucking trouble all the time and then talk and lie to the courts, try to get somebody locked up, uh, and say you in fear for your life, but you're in a state where you don't belong. You belong in Texas. So if you were, even the detective said, well, if she was that scared, she'd be back in her home state. Exactly. I don't know who you used to playing with, lying to, and all these years and getting away from it, with it, but your time is coming for you to to um to face face what's really up in these in the legal system for sure. Because these blatant lies that you told with no way to back them up with hardcore evidence, because I do, I have it. Um, you're going to jail for that. 
They don't, they're not playing with that. That's a waste of their time. And you lie trying to get somebody in trouble. And you're going to be the one that's going to get clink, clink. Not me, sweetheart. Because I would never do any of those things. Um, no job and no hairline. <laughs> she going to jail for lying under oh Yeah. Um, how are they going to bring a camel in the courtroom? <laughs> I don't know. Um, listen, I, 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 I don't even be fucking with these people like that, yo. Not, not to this level. To, you want me dead or going so bad that you going to lie to the judge? This is crazy. This is crazy. This is crazy. But you know when somebody got to lie about something, that means that whatever that person is doing ain't even that bad. You hear me again. If a person has to lie about something, that means whatever it was that happened wasn't that bad because they had to make up a lie to make it seem whatever it was they were doing. See, whatever I was doing wasn't even that bad to you. You had to make up a lie to make it bad. Fuck out of here. Um, the day she moved to Houston, she talked all kind of stuff about Atlanta, but she's always back there. They wanted to know why she was back. And I said, I don't know, work at festival. They said, aren't there festivals in Houston? I said, I guess. Uh, I hope they know they exploits the less fortunate for her personal gain. They've been looking through all the videos for the last couple of years. Um, so much so that one of them asked me a particular question. I'm not going to tell you what it was. I was like, how do you know that? And it was like, we've been looking through her video. I swear to God. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> Look through mine too. Um, yeah. And Monday, this coming Monday, she's going to have to go to court and let the people and, 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 prove, and prove what she said was true. And if she can't, I hope they put the clink clinks on her because I found some paperwork on my motherfucking own on Friday, bitch. Like, I dare you. Um, Nandy, wait, what? Nandy, I ordered the Pope movie. Why didn't you tell us over 55 it had subtitles? I couldn't see that shit even with my glasses on, but I digress. It's a good movie. Um, everything she said you did, she has done. Yes. Yes, exactly. And can be proven. Yes. <laughs> Carmen is a chronic liar. Her unprofessional team is advocating for her to get arrested. I mean, they clearly, because this is what's going to out, uh, this is going to be the outcome. Like you lied in a court of law. Now, Carmen, if I had done these things, you would have a solid case, but I'm not an idiot. I would never do any of these things. And I don't have a black soul. I would never do any of these things. Any of these things. I never called for you to be harmed. In fact, I told people to not do anything to you if they ever saw you. All right. I never called for you to be harmed. I never, um, you know, threatened you in any way, shape, fashion, or form. In fact, I said, I'm a lover, not a fighter, sweetheart. I mean, I can't definitely protect myself. Y'all know this, but um, I've never issued a threat. I don't know your social security. Like you went and told so many big lies that it's going to come back to bite you in the ass. I'm going to ask that they arrest your ass on the spot for those lies because you lie. So yeah, show up Monday. Um... Let's see if she appears in court on Monday. I talked to the judge on Friday, and that's on God, okay? And uh, you don't play with the legal system like that. If you don't like me, Carmen, or whoever, whomever it is, whomever it may be, you don't like me, that's fine. That's fine. Work within the confines of what you don't like about me. But when you start making up fucking lies and going to the court and telling them some bogus shit to try to get me fucking arrested or get my bond revoked, you're going to be the one sitting on the inside of a jail cell because I promise you on God. I promise you on God. I'm going to make it plain and clear. It's going to be made plain and clear. If it already hasn't, that you lie. Definitely. And that'll be on Monday. Mm -hmm. She should have dug one more hole. She needed to dig several of them. Um... She finna get herself in a pair of silver bracelets. Get them, Nandy. What's up, Timothy? Not my Timothy, but the other Timothy. <laughs> Timothy Ball gonna have a ball with that when he re when he hears me say that. Um, she can really play the victim. She definitely gives as good as she gets. Mm hmm. 
Um, <laughs> not the camel will be drop shipped. Okay, let me just get into a couple of videos right quick. Okay, so y'all know who? Okay, wait. Let's talk about Karina first. Y'all, hold on one second. Hold on. All right, I'm back. Sorry about that. Okay, so y'all know that um, Carmen started the whole I Got You brand. Quick level set, 60 seconds and less. Carmen C.T. O'Reilly. It's another thing I talked to the judge about. She's using this fake ass name of Carmen Smith. Um, your name's Carmen C.T. Okay, but anyway, I digress. Um, Carmen started the seasoning line. Uh, a few years ago, and of course, she came up with a very hood name because she's hood. I got you. I promise. You know, I got you. I got you. I got you. So she named the company. I got you. And um, you know, she, it was a hustle, and she used to sell it out of the back of her car and bag it up down in the basement. Her, she and Rico, and uh, were bagging it up down there and on a mattress on the floor. From what I heard, you know what I'm saying? Colossomy bag, all that. It's all was what I heard. Anyway, Karina came along and cleaned it all up, literally and figuratively. She cleaned up the business, all right? She turned it from a hustle to an actual legitimate business. It's a spice seasoning line uh, with some so-called gourmet. I can't say so-called because Karina, with, with, with some gourmet lemonades, okay? Trimonage. And um, Carmen's, Carmen was desperate for money, okay? She sold off part of the business, 25% of it. The money got so good to her. You know, she's a big gambler. She claims she don't gamble anymore, but whatever. She gambled that money up real fast. And she went back to Karina for some more money and said, look, I'll give you 50% of the business. If you just give me some more money, give me some more money. They're holding my spot for me at the table at the casino. Uh, and Karina gave him some more money and bought 50% of the business. Now I would never do that. Okay. I would never do that. So anyway, uh, Karina bought 50% of the business turned the business around, got it all legal, got the paperwork in order, you know, made it legit. She legitimized the business. Okay. Karina. Okay. All right. And, uh, all Carmen had to do was go online, turn her dirty hat backwards and lick her fingers and burn up some pancakes. Uh, it was working for her and make some peach cobbler and some bacon and, um, and, and some wings. Okay. J lemon pepper wings. That's all she had to do. That's all she really did. I mean, she did a couple more things, but that's that's a, that's the basics of what she does. And it was working. The business was was growing and starting to you know thrive and was taking off and was doing very well. And in comes Tay. Okay, Tay, Tay, Tay. Hi, Tay. I know you watch your girl. You better get them, get to them on work. Uh, listen. Tay came into the picture. And Carmen and Tay fell in love. Carmen definitely fell head first, okay? And um, Carmen sold the business. And, you know, she's been very bitter about that ever since. Carmen, she's been pissed at herself, at Karina, at the world, at everyone. She's done everything she can to try to sabotage the business. Now, that's a lawsuit that's coming up for your ass, okay? She's done everything she can to try to sabotage the business. She's logged into the company's account, 
um, and you know did some very disgusting things under the account name here recently. Um, talks about the company, all kinds of stuff. Anyway, anyway, Karina has been moving on. Yeah, I know some of y'all don't like Karina. Bye, 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 bye. I don't give a damn. She is a businesswoman, okay? And she had invested, you know, a couple hundred thousand dollars into the business to give her 50% of it. So, of course, she was trying to protect the brand. I don't know why people don't understand that, calling her snakes and this and that. Anyway, um, so Karina recent, Karina has told us for the last several months that she has been working to move the business on to the next level. It's always been my opinion since this started with, with, um, with, um, Carmen and Karina that Karina had already maxed out, uh, as far as, um, her potential buying, um, um, group or, um, audience, um, or group of people who will buy her products. She's already tapped out in this in, uh, social media space. All right. What I'm saying is, um, most people already know about the, I got you brand online. Okay. And now I shouldn't say most people, everyone who knows about Carmen and she has half a million followers. A lot of people already know about the brand and people are torn between supporting it or not supporting it. All right. And I feel like she's already kind of plateaued out as far as, um, you know, her customer, um, her audience is the word I was looking for, uh, as far as her uh, online audience is what I'm saying. And that she should take her business. It's always been my, this is what I've been thinking. She should take a business, you know, into another arena outside of the internet. it have fresh eyes on it. You know, customers who don't know anything about the dirty laundry between Carmen and Tay, Karina, all that. So clearly she was obviously thinking the same thing because Several months ago, she started the process to get into the stores. Now, this is a big deal, okay? This is a big deal. I, as you guys know, have a I have at least one business that you guys know of. I have multiple streams of income. But one business that you guys for sure know about because you've been supporting me and I've been talking about it a lot is my overnight bag business, okay? So the ultimate goal is to, um, to partner with major retailers to get the bags in stores. I've made some partnerships and working on different things. I won't tell you guys because it's none of your fucking business. Um, so somebody could try to sabotage. No, 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 no. I, I, I don't tell vultures and um, demons my dreams, and my prayers. I don't pray to the demons, sweetheart. Um, nor do I tell demons my business. All right. Anyway, I digress. Um, the, the goal of most business owners is to get your product in a, a retail space, um, so that it is, so you can scale it up, uh, which just means enlarge the amount that you, um, that you produce and, and, and enlarge your customer base, um, and your supply and ultimately, eventually sell your business. That's what every business owner wants to do. You don't want to work for the rest of your life. You want to sell your business for several million dollars. And then uh, once you sell your business for several million dollars, hold on one second. You want to sell your business for several million dollars because I don't have my um, do not disturb on. You want to sell your business for several million dollars and then go retire on some island somewhere and, you know, and lay up. That's what all businesses get in the business to do. Okay. You want to eventually sell your business. Okay. So Karina's moving towards, she's moving in the, direct, the right direction. She recently, um, Friday, I believe it was, um, you know, launched her seasoning line. Yeah, it's her. She bought it um, in a retail space. Now, I thought it was really interesting that the space that she chose was a farmer's market. Carmen loves a good farmer's market. She stays at farmer's markets. If there's one around, she's going to one. I actually have a clip of her in a farmer's market with Karina. Okay. I brought that to you guys, um, brought it for you guys tonight so that you can see it. Right. Um, but before we look at that, let's look at Karina going into this store, into a farmer's market, placing her product there. She's going to have it placed in two different aisles, which is incredible. And this has got to hurt Carmen. This has got to hurt her right in her purse. Okay. She's a fit. She's femme right in her pocketbook. This has got to hurt her because, um, you know, selling a business that you conceptualized and you hustled for, uh, and worked really hard for selling it to someone. Cause somebody was maybe in your ear convincing you to sell it. And then you sell it and you have regrets and you see the business go on to flourish and in a space where you love to shop. I mean, that's got to hurt. So, 
Um, let's take a look at Karina. Uh, this is, I didn't do the whole clip, but just a piece of it. Karina going into the farmer's market with um, her, uh, the person, the consultant she hired to help her, um, you know, market this and all that stuff. And then we'll look at Carmen in a farmer's market also about a year, year and a half or so, like a year and a half or so ago with Karina and her kids. But let's take a look at this first and then we'll talk. The lady that's got all the connections, if you will. No, but Louise has been our consultant. She's been helping us get everything together the way we need it to um, get our retail, um, our launch going. So we're at our first, we wanted to go live behind the scenes with y'all. We are at our first store. Uh, we're dropping off our products and um, we are, should we tell them the name of it yet? Y'all want to see our little, now this is our little, show them our little sample pack. This is what we bring um, to like the managers of the store um, that we are going to be going in. And isn't that cute cat design that? But it doesn't have our logo and stuff on it yet. We're almost there, right, right cat? Right, Louise? Yes, sir. And another thing, I'm so excited, y'all. I'm so excited because this is our first story. And y'all have been asking and we've been telling y'all. Now, we got connections. Hmm? Oh, okay. I'll be, uh, yeah. Louise said that I'm too excited. She wants me to not. She said, she said she don't, even though she got connections, you know, like, she can just walk in the back door, walk around. She's well known here. But um, she said, even still, we can't be too loud. So we're going to talk a little more quiet. But we wanted to give you guys some behind the scenes footage as we walk through. And um, when we come back next week, because they're actually going to put our products on the shelf um, on, uh, did he say Monday? So we'll come back on Monday and show you guys the, um, the seasonings actually on the shelf. Another thing, we're going to have our food truck out here. We're going to have our food truck out here um, to do a, uh, a launch. And that way we can let all the customers know, you know, that we're going to be in the store and they can taste all the seasonings. And we're going to do like a special promotion. And um, this is the seafood area of the store. I'm just letting them get a little visual. So um, we're going to tell you all the name of the store in a second. We're just going to show you guys the section that we're going to be in. How's everybody doing? Our boss squad, we love y'all. I wish I had my, I hope y'all can hear me okay. It's a lot of background noise. I didn't bring my microphone because we actually weren't planning on going live. It was something that we just decided. Kat, you want to hold the phone? Absolutely, it I was do. something that we just decided, y'all. Yes. Guys, aisle four is where y'all be able to find us. Now we're in the way. <laughs> Okay, you get the gist of it. So she's in a store now, 
clean up on aisle four. She's in two aisles, in aisle one and aisle four. Uh, one is the international uh, section, uh, international spice section. So you have all your spices, you know, imported from Puerto Rico and Africa and Asia and all these different places. Um, and so, um, and, and then she's also in the, the main spice aisle, you know, where your domestic spices are, if you will, here in the United States, regular, your, your McCormer and Laura, you know, it's McCormick, but she said McCormer, McCormer, who is your McCormers over there? Or uh, Laura's over there too. Uh, probably got their own spice line. I don't really like that though. Uh, yeah. So, you know, that's boss ladies in two aisles, which is great. Okay. So let's take a look of Carmen in, um, a farmer's market, um, going through the aisles with boss lady and her kids about a year and a half ago. And watch to the end where she's, this man tells her no recording. One of the employees in the store, he doesn't want her recording. And she, um, snaps back like, why not? Why not? Why can't I record? And then she whispers under her breath, oh, he must be out on warrants. I really want them to look up your Carmen CTNA name and see how many warrants your ass got under your real name. Um, no, he didn't have, I'm sure he didn't have warrants. Okay. How about people just don't want their face online? How about that? Maybe he's not here on his, maybe he doesn't have his papers. Who knows? Who knows? Respect people's wishes. The fact that she kept re recording and giving him back talk about it and recording him from to begin with. I mean, this just shows what kind of person she is. She does not care about boundaries or respecting people's wishes at all. At all. All right. Here we go. I got the bug. I got the bug. Are we gonna give you the album? Sure. You want some? You're live? Yeah. Carmen goes I live. She goes live a lot. Everyone likes to see what she's doing, so. No one's on. They'll be on in a few minutes. Here's Carmen at the farmer's market. Her and Andreas. They're uh, getting some stuff. For the um for tonight's cooking show. How many avocados? Just a couple. Yeah, just a couple, right? Because we don't want to waste food. Okay. Here's Carmen. Here's Carmen. 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 Here's Matthias doing his usual teenager stuff on his phone. What is this? Look at this. What is this? Uh, you ever seen this? No. Is, is it a fruit or, or a vegetable? It must be a fruit. Matias loves pomegranate. You want to get one? It's at the farmer's yes, market. We can share it. I like get a good too. one. You like them too, Carmen? Look how nice boss lady was being a uh, hug. Listen how nice she was and Ashley's kind of Ashley's calling. Ashley's calling. Decline her. Okay. That's what, she what if she won a million dollars? Matias said, What if Ashley won a million dollars and she was calling to tell you? Need a lot of stuff, right? What's up, everybody? <laughs> oh, sorry. You want to see? You want me to read some stuff? Uh, Jeannie Jackson said, "Hey." Hey, Chef and Karina. Hey, Jeannie. <laughs> what's, up, Jeannie? Um, what's being cooked tonight? We're looking for, we're looking for some giant crab legs. Tara said. Tara Jackson Giant crab legs. Boss lady talking to her like she knows the cook is slow and gently guiding her. <laughs> what, 
time is the um the next live? What time are we cooking at? Seven? At seven. I can't walk and read everybody. Matthias, someone said hi to you. They did? Yeah, you want to say hi What's to them? Up? Hey. <laughs> He doesn't want me to put him on the camera. Sorry. Carmen's walking fast. Let me catch up to her. Why is she walking so fast? I don't know. Ask her. They can't even hear her when she talks. Y'all see the comments? Somebody kept asking yeah. her back then, what happened to that lady you just played? That's a lot. What what happened to the girl? Where is she at? That's what somebody Hi. was asking in the comments. We look at the You want to read the comment to Carmen? Read them to Carmen. Why? Because it's hard for me to see them. I'm walking. All right. Uh, nobody's saying anything yet. Oh, everyone's saying that they're ready to cook. Oh my God, look how short that guy is. <laughs> oh, did he hear me? <laughs> I think he heard me. Common one. We're going to be doing King Crab Legs tonight. King Crab Legs. So, we came here to get King, King Crab Legs. So, they got some good things with these. They got some pretty, pretty big King Crab Legs. Valerie Amos. When is the cookbook coming out, guys? We're in trouble on that. I'm concentrating on that list, Colleen. Uh, we go. I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna deep fry some king crab legs. They got some really, really big king crab legs. Snow crab. Look at those, those snow crabs. Um, Dungeness crabs. Uh, who is that? Somebody in. Hey, Chef, glad I found you, Birmingham, Alabama. Christina Holloway. Get my king crab legs. Man, they don't think these fish so big. That's when the guy going to tell her to cut them. Look how, look how they're looking at her. She using a saw. She got the camera in that face. Look at her. Look at her. He's using a saw to cut that big old fish. Yeah, he does. He said something. Yeah. What? I ain't seen no wolf. It's not a video. It's a live video. No video. Live. Live. What is wrong with you? Over there. He's He's West, but he must have a warrant. I don't know what this is. What do you think? Oh, that's a bad right there. Yeah, blue crowd is too, too much work. He said no video, but we can still video. He just, you know, we 
video him. He said no video, but we can still video. Yeah, he, he don't want us to video him. Look at the Chinese lady getting the prize. Yeah, those are called smelts. Those are called smelts. Those are called smelts. Yeah, they'll be alright. But anyway, we're going to grab these crabs and get on out of here. Maybe he had warrants or something because ain't nobody else said nothing. Maybe he had warrants and that's why he don't want to be filmed. Did y'all hear that? Um, no, I'm at the um, Buford Highway Farmer's Market. Y'all heard that? Maybe he must he must got warrants out for his name because he don't want to be recorded. No, how about he just don't want to be recorded? And how about you respect that and respect people's wishes instead of trying to force people, um, you force what you're doing on people against their will. That's crazy. Um, I'm really confused as to why Crook claims Houston, Texas is her home now. She's always in Atlanta. Um, Houston has not rolled out the red carpet for her. There are plenty of legitimate, there is plenty of legitimate work here in Houston. Her truck and certificates must be with city state codes of operations. Mm-hmm. Um, I just bought a pair of hair. I just bought a, uh, I just bought a half bushel of blue crabs. Oh, nice. <laughs> Lizard net. Um, Miss Miss um, Betty said, "Congrats to Boss Lady. She tried to upgrade and help Carmen, but her priorities are in the wrong place. She uh, presently has digressed back to where she started over 16 years ago, running around working concession stands, buying younger women, gambling and drinking. In reality, her maturity level will never be ready for the business world. Sad, but it's her reality. I agree with that. That's a mouthful." She didn't give the benediction. We can go home now. Mm -hmm. But before we do, let's get into... Okay, so y'all know who Chef Fell is. Um, she's a chef. I think she's out of Atlanta. I'm not... I'm Yes, she lives in Atlanta. She was at that fair. Um, you know, she can go to a fair. This fucking Carmen was there. Don't mean she can't go. She was at the fair. So, yeah, she lives in Atlanta. Um, and she flew out to Chicago. Um today i think she flew out yesterday and, and then today she was doing she was she flew out um to feed the homeless okay like really feed the homeless uh i'm not talking about you know going and getting discounted food and throwing away food and expired food and blah 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 no she actually went or begging for cash apps i didn't see her put her cash app one time she didn't ask people for cash apps she didn't um put her cash app up she didn't say send me some money send me da 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 she didn't do any of that. You know, this is out of her own pocket. As far as we know, she didn't ask us for help. Us, we, John Q. Public. Um, so let's take a look at what it really looks like to actually spend your own hard-earned money on food and uh, condiments and, uh, and, and, you know, things like that. Um, and actually put your heart and soul into cooking the food, quality food, and serving people um, in a way that, um, you know, I mean, it, I don't know. This is the way Carmen just be boxing up that food and, you know, throwing it at people, basically. It's totally different when you see someone actually takes the time and the care to cook food and even toast the um, the uh, the tortillas. Um, toast them, warm them up, you know, flip them over. Um, lovingly and kindly um, and nicely and gently as opposed to Carmen just throwing them up in the air and catching them shits with her teeth or something. I don't know. Um, but, you know, it's a, it's a stark contrast, you know, the style uh, between the two and even the motivation between the two, Carmen and Chef Fowl. Two total on the same so-called mission, but um, going about it in two totally different ways. Um and with two different motivations and two different intents and all that stuff. So let's take a look at how Chef Fowl's event went. I'm not going to show the whole thing. I'll show um, basically some of the highlights. And then we'll take a look at um, Cook Carmen and how she was cooking 
today and, um, you know, and, and how she was hollering like she was at a, a junkyard, you know what I'm saying? Or she was somewhere at, um, you know, I, I mean, just screaming out in the jungle somewhere, screaming and hollering, you know, it's one of it. Oh, we got to, oh, come get that jerk. Okay, girl, let's take a look at how it should be done. And then we'll look at how some people are doing it. Um, it, and even though Carmen wasn't cooking for the homeless today, because she hasn't done that in what a year, she hasn't cooked for the homeless. <laughs> I can't even remember, um, serve them or anything like that. But we'll look at the two cooking styles, the cleanliness of the area, the cooking area, all that. You know, let's take a look. So here's a clip of Chef Val. Use her own coins to get out to Houston. She didn't say, hey, I'm in Houston. Uh, I'm going to be catching an Uber from the airport down to the cooking site. Pay my Uber driver. My Uber driver's classless, Carmen. But my Uber driver's cash app information is blah, blah, blah. Carmen's done this many, many, many times, okay? Want us to pay your Uber driver. Why the fuck would we be paying your Uber driver, Uber driver for your trip, for your excursion? <laughs> anyway, let's take a look. At how it sh how um Chef Val does things. Then we'll look at how Carmen does things. Hang on. Mm -mm -mm. This gonna go down on the front. And don't be afraid to bless bless Chef. Chef got to eat. She got bills to pay. No, don't. Act now, now this is one of the other chefs that's there. Jeff Val is not asking for stars or blessings. She all the way down here. This is him doing this for her behalf. Let's just be clear. Well, up here. She owes somebody just do. Oh, they just gave you fifty stars. Come on, come on, come on. Born, born, burn, burn. Look at that fifty stars. Look, come on. Thank fill up, y'all. Fill up. She didn't have to come here. She didn't have to come here. Woo. Oh, mom just sent 200 stars. All right, mom. Fill it up. Fill it up. Fill it up. Because she is sat down today, y'all. Sat down. And look, not only is she sat down. So today is like, see, this is like that sequel to my old. Uh, so they been celebrating since Friday. Oh, somebody, oh, they just gave up. They just gave you another 100 stars. Um, Barbara, 100 stars. Oh, somebody named. Hold on, y'all. That's why you can't even touch a video on uh, what to call it. Stream yard. Hold on. Can I get a hundred? Can I get a hundred? Somebody give me a hundred. Woo! Look at them stars. We up to nine hundred. Come on, y'all. Get on the run. Oh, wait, wait. Mom just gave us five hundred stars. Come on, come on, come on, Mama. You. You can do it again. You can do it again. Come on, give us more. Give us more. If you can give us more, we can do more in this world. Let's go. All we got to do is finish doing what we're doing, y'all. We appreciate y'all for coming out. And all we're going to Oh, come on. Give us 60, 50 more stars. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. Uh-uh. You just step to the side. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on, y'all. We get. Oh, Angela just gave us 200 stars. Come on. Oh, okay. Mark just gave us another 500 stars. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Give us another. Give us enough, give us how you can fill it up, 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 fill it up. Come on, fill it up, fill it up. Come on, y'all. Fill it up, y'all. We are in Chicago. Oh, you up to 16, 16, 15 stars. Come on. We can go. We want 10,000, 20,000 stars today. Can we get it? Can we get it? Can we get it? Can we get it? for the animals. I'm just saying, can we get it? Can we get it? Come on, oh, those stars is going to come on, y'all. All right, I got to get back to work, y'all. I got to get over right, y'all. We're going to get a set. Come on, 
and it's a short one as well. So if you guys look across the street, I'll show you. Um, running this event for the last 15 years here in Chicago area. This is not the only area that he does this. Other Let it race. All right. Now we have the beat. All right. Let's get it. I'm going to turn this around real quick. I know I need to do it. 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 I Alright, I got I ain't you. touching your stuff, I ain't going here. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I got it. You got it? Okay. Alright, we gonna put some all over here. I need the other phone stand too That's all I had to put in.
coming back to Vaughn for breakfast, sir. So, you know, we start at 8 o'clock, right? So, we'll be here probably about 6 o'clock in the morning, setting up. We had this whole table. <laughs> That's fine. We're going to have a whole table set up for you. And, and we're and we right. going to do the pancakes. Right. We got to be going to cook. We're going to set it up. We're going to make it all the way set up for All the way from, look, y'all, all the way from Atlanta and Washington. With with us, with us, all the way, we're going to do it right. Have y'all want to run that line, run that line, ladies first, right here, ladies first. We're going to take care of the ladies first, and then the men. Come on, we get blessed, and we're we gonna start getting this morning. Again, so y'all be good. We have uh, Winterfest. Winterfest be coming up, and we would love for her to cook inside the Winterfest. Um, and then also we travel to different states, so I do want to have her come over to Springfield, uh, Springfield, Illinois. And we and we can have her do Baby, your favorite cook, Carmen, could never. I mean, everything from top to bottom is totally different between these two. Um, the organization, the cleanliness, the skill level of which the food is being cooked. As someone said, all that shrimp and not one was burnt. The professionalism. Um, I mean, everything is its completely and totally different between these two women completely different um Sheffel got them arms looking like she can fight if she had to <laughs> um okay, okay 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 so listen so Carmen saw all of this she saw what she heard and saw what Chef Val was doing and you know um she decided that she would up the ante since you know she, I don't know what ante it is there's nothing to up because Carmen hasn't been doing anything for the homeless other than collect the money on that Feeding Souls page. That's it. Who's she feeding with that? Where's that money going? Who's spending it? She's certainly not serving homeless people with it. But Carmen heard about and saw uh, what Chef Fowl is doing and, and was doing and will be doing tomorrow. So this is what Carmen... Well, first, before I show you what she said, let me show you Carmen's setup. Now, y'all saw Chef Fowl set up. Now, Chef Fowl is cooking for homeless people. paying money to eat the food so let's look okay uh, uh you would think somebody who's cooking for people who's paying money that they will be on the level you know everything will be on par everything will be clean and everything like how chef out said it was okay for homeless people but it still everything was pristine now let's look at carmen actually cooking at a carnival okay um and and how she's cooking and how she's behaving Okay, let's take a look.
don't be a jerk. That's You're very making me crazy with the hot fries, man. Like she's um the a ringmaster at some circus, you know, yelling out, "Hi jerk, hi jerk, don't be a jerk, come get you some jerk." Uh, let me see, let me see, let me do a phone call between her and Weezy because baby, who the hell told her she could be out here cooking Jamaican food and flying the Jamaican flag? I need to know, huh? I need some answers, okay? <sighs> I mean, who does she run this past? Sharon Benz? Because I need to do a phone call with Sharon Benz and her because baby, uh-uh. <laughs> Hello, baby, that's you? I ain't heard from you since you lost that contest. Uh, bitch, I ain't lose. I came in third place. So I won two hours a winner. I came in third place. I gave out medals and everything. When I went down there, they flew me out. And they didn't give me a big street. They gave me a little baby street. But I, I, I upgraded. I upgraded to it. And anyway, I ain't call about that. Well, baby, I heard from you since, like I said, you came in third place. And I done returned the call center back and everything. All the votes I was doing for you. What's up, baby? What you need? I got you. Uh, listen, send me 50000 Every time you call, Carmen, you ask for $50,000. i am going to send it to you, but what's up? Listen, I need to do something different. Ain't, didn't you say your grandmother, your great-great-grandmother was Jamaican? Yeah, my great-great-grandmother was Jamaican. I ain't never meet her. I mean, that was a long time ago, but I got some Jamaican blood in me. Yeah, man. Don't do that. All right, listen. What guard? Uh, listen, I need you to tell me. Give me a good recipe for some good jerk chicken. I'm gonna be out here at this carnival this weekend. Tell me how to make some good jerk chicken. I would call Nikki, but I fucked up with her, so she can't get me. I gotta, I gotta figure it out on my own. I need somebody to tell me how to make it. Well, what you do, baby, is you go and you watch somebody else do it. I can't tell you because I'm only, I, I, I don't, I'm not in touch with my Jamaican roots like that, but. All I know is that they be putting some um scotch bonnet peppers, I think. Uh, scotch bonnet. I think they put a little uh, nutmeg in it. I don't know. I'm going to just put some shit together. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go to my daughter's um, barbecue season sauce, and I'm going to see if I can get some barbecue sauce from her. Put it on there, and I'm going to burn it up real good. <laughs> I'm going to burn it up real good. I'm going to burn that chicken. I'm going to burn the shit out of that chicken. Yeah, baby, just burn it. Hey, I'm going to burn it and call it jerked. Yeah, that's all. Just go burn it and call it jerked. And if that don't work, call it Cajun. Baby, go ahead. Get down there and get you some kidney beans, some rice, throw a little bit of coconut milk in it. And don't call it coconut rice again like you did the other day because Scandi was talking about that and she was right. They don't nobody say that. They call it rice and peas. But get you some coconut milk, baby. Get you some of them. Got kidney beans, get you some rice, baby, and burn the shit out that chicken. And sweetheart, you're going to have you a jerk hut. That's all it takes for a jerk hut. Put jerk on your hut at the carnival. And that's why I like you, Weezy. I tried to add that bit, Tay Tay Tay. She gave me a recipe, and she was over there picking out the Beyonce outfit. She ain't had time for me, but. Uh, listen, did you send the 50 dollar yet? Because I'm headed to the Christina. You know I sent it while we was talking on the phone, baby. It's already there. Damn, bitch. That's why I like you. All right, let me get out of here and get this jerk hut. Uh, let me see. Let, 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 let me practice my patois with you real quick. Uh, what gone? No, baby. It's what gone. What gone? Say it with me. What gone? What gone? Uh, I think I got it, bitch. What gone? Yeah, that's right, baby. Baby, where you coming? 
Hung up on that bitch. <laughs> Sharon Benz, Jamaican, down at her great, 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 great grandmother was. You know what I'm saying? Trying to call up, just burn that shit like you always do, baby, and call it jerk chicken. I mean, that way you do burn everything else. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, my spit went down the wrong way. I apologize. Okay. So Carmen got wind of what uh, 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 um, Chef Val was doing, and she got so jealous hard, and then she said, oh, this bitch ain't going to one-up me. I'm going to one-up her. And this is what Carmen put up. Where is it? Carmen. Are you on here? Oh, my God. Are you on here? I think it's on this one. Oh, wait. Let me see. Oh, here it is. Okay. Carmen told us, I challenge anyone that's affiliated with the homeless community. Bring the entire homeless and less fortunate to Hattie Park, Hatley Park. Dinner is on me. Come tonight and all day tomorrow. Okay, so first of all, Carmen's out in Chicago. She bought all this food on somebody's car. Who knows, child? And uh, probably uh, Wheezy's. Um, and then it rained, okay? I told y'all before, every time she goes somewhere, God rings it out, okay? Uh, it rained. And so, you know, now she got to act like she's got this big charitable heart. Bring people down here. I'm a feed everybody in the world. You ain't feeding nobody. You, you, you know that you have to throw that food away because now, see, Carmen done got her inspection today. Did y'all know about that? She got, she passed this so-called inspection. It's for a temporary certificate. All of the vendors at festivals have to have this, okay? At least where she is. And um, she's not in Georgia. I think she's in Tennessee. So it's the, she went, the the, insp- uh, the lady went by her booth and, um, you know, tested the food and, and did a little small inspection, real, real, really, you know, informal and very, just a fast inspection. And Carmen was so proud. Let me show y'all what she was saying and how she was boasting and boosting about this damn temporary certificate temporary food establishment permit temporary food establishment permit and uh yeah so i got i got a 100 guys then what what's my score 100 (laughs) (laughs) yes sir nashville tennessee i got 100 what else i need to do so you went all little questions the ability to maintain cert safe food temperatures food protection i'm the only one that's got this look see this so am i yep um i got everything guys i got 100 i just had to let y'all know that this you got it food serve safe i'm good what else I need to do? Oh, no, I just need to pay the lady. I need to pay her for my permit. She say she didn't take it. <laughs> she just saw me. Right, 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 right. Miss Roberta. Got one hundred. I'm set. Ready ready to go. My score on the Nashville. Health department for my, my temporary food establishment to turn up and get, get straight lit. They're gonna know. Have a good All right, thank you so much. Thank you. Have a good Thank you so much. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now it's time to cook, y'all. I gotta go, but I got a 100. I got an A plus plus. Good morning, guys. Let me get this motherfucking panther off my screen. Listen, Carmen, Carmen, come to the podium. Let me, I know you're watching. 
listen, this is what you do as an adult. This is not, this is like a man posting his child support payment and boosting and bragging and boasting about it online. That This is akin to that, to a man paying his child support and getting online talking about somehow he did it. He a good ass father. Nigga, that's what you're supposed to do. Carmen, that's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to, um, you know, have your, your food station, your concession stand. It's supposed to check out. You're supposed to pass with flying colors. You're supposed to, you know, get, get a certificate giving you the green light to go ahead and proceed for the day. I mean, the fact that you've never shown this before leads me to believe that you've never had one before. And that's a very scary ass thing. Okay. It makes me think you've never passed inspection ever in your life. Yet you out here every day, all day serving food. Because if you'd have passed before, you'd have shown it like you did this time. Okay? Nobody gives a shit. This is what you're supposed to do as an adult when you're serving food and people. You up here showing this like it's your report card. You know what I'm saying? And you finally uh, uh, got off of, um, you know, you finally got a C on your report card after getting an F all the time. You proud to show it, girl? This is what you're supposed to do. It's ridiculous. And, and yes, let, come on, Tara. And it's temporary, just for the day, okay? Or that day and, and the next day. That's it. You act like you, you, you know. Now, if you when you when you get that truck right, unwrapped and rewrapped and brought up to code, okay? Safety code, uh, uh, food inspection, and all that, everything. Once you get that done. And you pass all across the board and your truck and your trailer is ready to roll out and you're ready to actually serve people food. Oh, baby, go live for that. We'll be here for that. You can brag and boast about that all day long. But a temporary certificate to say that you're going to um, keep that burnt up as jerk chicken at a certain temperature, that don't mean a damn thing. Okay, please. I mean, the fact that she went live and was like making a big deal of this girl. Don't sit your ass down. She's going to try to use it in Atlanta. No, this is just for Tennessee. And it's just a temporary one. You know, this is what you do as an adult. You hand, This is called handling business. You ne clearly never handled it before. The first time you did, you know, you want to show everybody. Liquid Agatha! Who gives a fuck? All right, y'all, let me get off of here. We had an hour and 47 minutes. I cannot believe that. She knows she's not legit because she was too excited as it being the first time, but how did it taste? Burnt up. I'm sure. My jerk chicken. When she got on this jerk chicken kick? Cajun jerk. All right, guys, listen, let me get off of here. And um, don't forget the Jamaican necklace also. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know what she's trying to do. Unorganized, unprofessional, and discombobulated. <laughs> Just loud for no reason. Oh, my God, you guys. All right, guys, listen. She's reading like a fifth grader. <laughs> she never saw one before. Not with her name on it. She's confused, dazed and confused. That's really scary. This is your first one. Because believe me, had you had any other one, we'd have known about it. <laughs> um, Chicken is the cheapest. You right about that. The inspector was looking like, man, come on. Yep, I agree. <laughs> and I, I, now this right here, I caught that when it happened, Claudia. Claudia said, Crook said, serve safe. The certificate is called safe serve. That was embarrassing. The fact that you're a so-called chef and you don't know what safe serve certification is. I mean, I, I, I don't even know what to say. I'm speechless. You call it safe, serve safe. It's safe serve certification. Um, if you if you worked in clothing and, and retail, I could understand that. But the fact that you literally have served thousands and thousands of dishes and you don't know what uh you know the proper terminology is of uh safe serve i mean that tells us everything we need to know about uh how you're serving your food and and, and the training or lack thereof that you've had because clearly you know you get you, know, you can't even um pronounce the name of it properly 
Safe surf. I caught that too. I was like, why is she calling it surf safe? I got my surf safe. That's because she never, let me tell you, let's come on. Karina dealt with all the paperwork. Karina dealt with all of the legal stuff. You know what I'm saying? Keeping everything legit. Um, you know, handling all of the inspections and this and that. That's Karina's forte. All Carmen had to do was put that dirty hat on backwards and get on camera and burn up some shit, pancakes and whatever else. And uh, talking that fake ass Julia Child's voice, she'd be doing, oh, chef, oh, how are you doing today, chef? That dumb shit she'd be doing. That's all she had to do. And she was um, on her way to becoming a millionaire right along with Karina because Karina was taking the business higher and higher. And now you work in carnivals at 60 years old. I mean, that's that's a hell of a fall from grace. And she had to know to call herself, um, uh, 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 what she said? She was laying golden eggs. She's elevated. And you're not. You're not. You're back at ground zero, sweetheart. Okay? And nothing's wrong with being back at ground zero for a lot of people. But for you, Carmen, the way you be talking and boosting and bragging and popping shit about people and, and et cetera, yeah, that's not a good look at a, for a 60-year-old to be out here, um, you know what I'm saying, bragging over um, a certificate, a temporary certificate, calling it by the wrong name, which you should know by heart what it is, you know, um, a safe serve, you should know that. And, um, you know, all the stuff that you out here doing, hustling, you know, you got to make them, you got to bring home the donuts, you got to bring them back, take those bags home back to Tay Tay Tay, okay, because she don't play, 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 okay? <laughs> I saw that she asked um, people to tell her about events for 2024. You guys make sure you hit the like, the heart. Thank you, Miss Booker. Hit the like, the heart, the smiley face. Boss lady and daughter A said it for her. Um, she's jerking it because it hides her no talent in cooking. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you burn it, you have to bite through the burn. By that point, your mouth numb. Um, yeah, you can share this. Don't share it in the groups, but you can share it like just a regular share. You can do that, Miss Patricia. Um, I have I have laughed so hard on our other page. Great idea, coach. <laughs> the other page is funny as hell. It's lit. Listen, if you all are in the um private group that we have, it's free to join, free to be in there. All right. Um, go over head over. It's the exact same name, it's Nandy at the dark, but it's a private group. Go ahead, hit the button and apply. Okay, that's basically you're submitting your application. Um, because I'm gonna look through some things. Um, go ahead and 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 send your request in to join, and um, we'll take it from there. But um, listen, I appreciate each and every one of you. Her cash app account, uh, her cash app count as points for her to collect social security benefits. No, will her cash app count as points for her to collect social security benefits? No, definitely not. You have to pay into the social security fund to get social security benefits. Absolutely not. <laughs> no, definitely. She's not even paying taxes on that money. That's why she's in trouble now. Um, You mean the creepy voice when she's talking to herself a third party? Yes, exactly. Crook is constantly coming for Nikki with the Jamaican talk and jerk chicken. Crook is mean and evil. God doesn't have, God doesn't bless mess. The two will find no joy in this entanglement. I agree. I mean, she knows Nikki's Jamaican and she knows Nikki sells, you know, the different sauces. And one of them, I think, is a jerk sauce. I'm pretty sure it is. I, guess, uh, I don't know the flavors, but I know she sells a jerk sauce and um, jerk chicken belongs to the Caribbean culture, period. More, um, most especially the Jamaicans, you know, and, and rice and peas and all that stuff. And the fact that she out there flying a Jamaican flag and doing all this and that, she's doing a lot. I mean... Yeah, I, I, I can see how she's trying to, you know what I'm saying, be throw subliminals at Nikki and all that kind of stuff. Because she's petty like that. I, I don't put it past her one bit. Um, hi, Mr. Bishop. This itch couldn't come. <laughs> Hold on, let me put it on the screen. Mr. JB said, this itch couldn't cook for my dead dog. <laughs> Listen, while we on here, let me say this, because I, I, I'm, a, I'm a woman. I'm a grown-ass woman, okay? And I don't want any beef with anyone 
I don't even want beef with Carmen and Tay. I really don't. I'm just shining the spotlight on the things they do, most especially Carmen these days. You know what I'm saying? But y'all yeah, know Michelle Hightower Gray. I have not talked to her since that incident. Um, you know, I did call her a bitch on here. And um, I mean, what she did was some bitch shit. But I probably shouldn't have called. I'm, I, I'm not going to say I probably shouldn't. Um, I, I don't like that I called her a bitch because I don't want to have beef with people who I don't need to have beef with, okay? Um, her sending that message to Nikki and, and making Mickey, Nikki believe that I was trying to talk about her, which I absolutely wasn't. I just said, hold off on Nikki for now. Um, there was no malice behind that. There was a reason behind it, but she didn't get to find out. But anyway, um, you know, I don't have any malice for her. She did what she did, whatever, whatever. You know, people going to do what they do behind the scenes, especially if that's your home girl and you think somebody's saying something one way. I can see somebody, you know, you talk to your home girl like, oh, she told me to hold on for you for now. But God did intend for me to see that message because she dropped it in my lap. And that's why I called you a bitch. But I don't have any beef with you, okay, uh, Michelle? All right? I don't have any beef with you. I'm on this page and on my platform um, for a reason, okay? And it ain't the beef with this person, that person, and the other person. I, I, I don't have the time, energy, or even interest to do that, okay, Michelle? So um, I don't have any beef with you. You did what you did, and I said what I said, and let's just let that be bygones. Let's let that shit slide, all right? I want to get back to, I never got away from it, but I'm going to stay on talking about my two favorite internet celebrities, and that's Carmen and Tay. All that other shit on the side is just noise. Whoever's saying what, whoever mad they couldn't get in the group, whoever, blah, 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 not Nikki. I'm talking about another person, whoever it may be. Um, Yeah. I, um, I, you know, let that shit be bygones. That's it. And that's all. All right. So, um, that's over. That's done with. You said what you said. I said what I said. Let's move on from that. All right. I'm not going to sit up here and hate your guts and harbor ill feelings towards you and wish harm on you. I don't wish harm on anyone, but I just want to put that out there and let that be known. Cause I know some of y'all have been in my inbox with certain things. So let's stop that. Let's just move past that. You know? Um, yeah, that's it. Um, what you call it? Said Michelle is not to be trusted. She's on several platforms deep in the comments. Uh, and then they put a throw up face. Michelle, Michelle gonna do whatever she want to do. This is me clearing uh, my spirit of harboring any ill will. I, I wasn't harboring ill will, but harboring any type of tiff between me and another person. She can say and do whatever she wants. She's a grown lady, old enough to be my mom. So. She can do whatever she wants to say what she wants. This is me addressing my people about that situation and how I'm moving on from it. Um, I'm not going to forget. I know what's up, but I'm not going to sit here and harbor ill feelings either. All right. That's it. Uh, I'm not responsible for Michelle. It's none of my business what she's saying about me or anybody else. Uh, most of the things you're saying, most of the things you're saying is true from my understanding. Okay. Those followers are so delusional. They believe everything that comes out of Crooks and Tay's mouth without researching or using their common sense. Wow. Um, let me see. Hey, Miss Hoaxy, I've been on for a minute now. Um, boop, 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 doo, doo, doo. Crooks said, if anyone wanted her at their festivals to get in touch with her wife. <laughs> Um, I like your style, young lady. I appreciate that, Mr. Barnes. It ain't for everybody. Um, let me see. Him. JK Harris. I appreciate you letting me know that, but she could do whatever she want to do. I'm good and grown. I don't I uh uh even the way that I report on and you know the things that I say about Carmen and Tay. Um there's a certain level of um this is a certain level that I'm going to go to. I'm not going to wish harm on them or anything. Like, I've never done that. Um, Let me see. Hi, Miss Gardner. Nandy, thanks. That's how a true grown woman handle her business. I'm good and grown now. And I'm a queen. So, you know, um, I don't have any problems saying, hey, exactly what I said. That's it. You know, hey, I know I caught you. Caught you, bitch. What you did was some bitch shit now. But, you know, um, let's let bygones be bygones. I don't, I don't have a need to get on here and talk about her, analyze her life. 
I still haven't even told y'all. I, I don't know how she could be saying it. I still haven't told y'all this big thing that she told me in the strictest of confidence. Okay. I still haven't told y'all that. No matter what anybody ever say about me on this internet, don't go by what they say. Go by what you see me do and how you see me act toward people that you see me do and how you see me act and what you see me hear me say. I still, even despite all of that, I still haven't come on here and said, oh, guess what, y'all? And it's big. <laughs> I didn't tell y'all. I still, I'm still protecting her secret. It's a big mouth bitch on one of the other platforms talking cold cash shit. She used to be in my group. Bitch, I still haven't told your secret either. Okay? I haven't forgotten about the funeral home guy. <laughs> Girl, let me get off of here, y'all. Because I don't even be coming for people or, or letting people shit out. Or, you know what I'm saying? Annihilating people and going for their jugular. I'm on here to talk about Carmen and Tay. Other people get sidetracked for, with their hatred for me because they can't get the access to me that they want. And that's a you fucking problem, not me. Right? Ask yourself, why is that? why that is um if you you will really tell the truth about this bow weaver jb need to come and visit jb <laughs> miss roberta said coach you are wise and intelligent you know how to handle people thank you i appreciate that i ain't gonna sit up here and, and, and hold malice in my heart for someone nah y'all could y'all let somebody else do it now if ever there was a time to use that saying um, that y'all know that's a general saying that people say now. Get somebody, get somebody else to do that. Nah, I'm not gonna sit up there and hold that in my heart. I don't even hate Carmen and Tay. Um, <laughs> Yolanda said, "Did anyone hear when Carmen said that they were going to keep escalating? She meant elevating. I mean, that's par for the course for Carmen. I wouldn't expect. I would expect her to say that and not get it correctly." Um, this show is for grown folks. Let them know, Mr. Barnes. I ain't gonna sit over here. It's plenty of shit that has been said about me since the last time I was live by different people and who I'm not even gonna mention. I'm not even gonna give you that clout or even that time and attention. You keep talking and saying what you want about me. And um, I'm gonna keep saying over here on my throne with my crown on, saying what I want to say on my on my platform. Okay, so y'all go talk in the comments. I'm gonna be on my platform talking about whatever I want to. Um and doing it with style and grace, sweetheart. I'm not going to cuss y'all out because y'all over there talking shit about me. Have at it. Um, let me see. That's the focus, Carmen and Tay. Exactly. All right, listen. Thank you all so much for tuning in. I really do appreciate your time, your engagement, your participation, the love that you guys show me. Thank you so, 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 so much. I cannot do this show without you. Um, I really do appreciate you all. You guys make sure that you are, um, your notifications are set. Okay. Cause a lot of y'all have seen comments on here. Tell me something. I ain't get my notification. Da, 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 da. Make sure your notifications are set. Make sure you're following this page. That's very important. Um, make sure that when you follow this page that you are following it, you go in and you click, um, that you want to see all the notifications for this page, not just some of them. That's how y'all be missing out because Facebook is crazy. Um, make sure your notifications are on. Make sure that you're following this page. Make sure that you like this page and definitely make sure that you like, heart emoji, huggy emoji, smiley emoji, and share this video. Hit all the bells. All right? I appreciate you guys for watching and I will see you on the next episode of Nandy at the Dark. Bye.